Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today we're going to make pork rind nachos. What we have here, and they're called rendered pork skin pellets. And you deep fry them in 400 degree oil and they puff up just like the pork rinds we all know. So this is going to be the bait, this is going to be the chips for our nachos. We're going to fry these in a few minutes as the oil comes up to temperature. What I'm going to do is season them as they come out of the oil to absorb the flavor and give them um, a Mexican flair flavor to them. So I have a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic, granulated garlic, a tablespoon of chili powder, a, two teaspoons of oregano, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper. So we're going to make, mix this all up and then as they come out of the hot oil we're going to season them. All right, we have our oil up to 400 degrees, and we're going to go ahead and get these cracklings in here. Just do a small handful here. Let's see what that does. I'll put my little bird's nest on top of that to hold them down. They're going to puff up pretty quick. They only take uh, 30, 40 seconds to cook. And I'm holding that down and they're still coming out. Wow. Holy moly. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and get the next batch in. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do our second batch here. Alright, there we go. Our pork rinds are fried. And now I'm going to dump them into a paper bag and put the seasoning on them and shake it up. Let's get an even coating on all these. What I've done here to um, to top the nachos with, I just made a real quick salsa or, you know, cold chili, whatever you want to call it. I diced up two yellow onions, one bell pepper, one can of crushed tomatoes with green chilies in them, and a can of drained black beans. Just mixed all that together. All right, we've got our platter there. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and put some pork rinds down here. Look how big some of these things got. And with the seasoning I put on here, um, and I'll put it in the um, the recipe, um, it's just, these are like amazing now. So I'm gonna kind of lay these out in a, in a single layer. That'll be about enough chips. Now we're gonna go ahead and start spreading our salsa, chili, whatever you wanna call it, combo over top of this. Drizzle this all over top. Go ahead and spread it with some Mexican blend cheese. Just do it evenly all over top. Okay. All right, now we're gonna put this into a 350 degree oven just until the cheese is melted. There we go, our pork rind nachos are done. All right, we got a little sour cream here in the middle with some jalapenos, so let's dig in here and see what these things taste like. Let's get a jalapeno and some sour cream on here. Mm. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> These are actually pretty daggone good. <clears throat> I've been thinking about doing this for a while and finally got around to it. This is a fantastic product from RudolphFoods.com. Um, I'll put the link up there to you for you guys if you guys are interested in getting any of these pellets. Or you can just use the ones out of the bag. Um, but here we go. We're going to go for another bite. We got some black bean, tomato, pepper, onion, jalapeno, and sour cream on this one. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we're going to dig into these now. We'll see you next time.